Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here from Real Leather Crafters in the Dirty South. Uh, today's video is going to be completely different than any other, any other of the tutorial videos that I've done because today um, something happened that let that has proven to me what my business coach has been teaching me over the past three years and it has finally happened and actually um, he started teaching me on being a KPI or a key person of influence last year and it's coming to fruition this year so I'm not going to keep you long but I want to give you this information out there give you this information so those of you who are trying to turn this craft into uh, a business a profitable business or a business that's going to um, let you allow you to be free to where you can work for yourself and not lose any income over it that was this video is about because that's what I've been trying to do and today um, because of these videos because of these videos uh, I've had two uh, people that have uh, called me over the past uh, couple of weeks or oh, 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 the last few days couple of days and that right there lets me know that everything that my coach has been telling me and trying to get me to do is paying off because he told me last year a lot of the things he was asking me to do and a lot of things he was telling me to do basically telling me to do to change my thinking and that's going to change my condition and i was giving him a lot of pushback uh especially at first uh I was giving him a lot of pushback and he told me, he said, Robert, he said, the reason why I'm pushing you so hard is because I want you to be a KPI. And I was like, a KPI? And he asked him, what's a KPI? And he was like, I, I want, I'm going to make you the key person in your industry. If not the key person, I'm going to make you one of the key people in your industry. And what that means is that's going to start people to calling emailing, uh, inboxing, asking questions, seeking answers about things that they are going through in, on their end. And that's one reason what led to the video. So if you guys can date back all the way to the first video, that's when my training as a KPI actually started because the YouTube, the whole YouTube thing uh, come about because of what my business coach was instilling in me. And at the time I didn't see it, I was just doing it because, hey, this man is so successful. I had no reason to question why he was telling me to do it. I gave him a lot of excuses uh, about why I couldn't do it. And he was constantly coming back, giving me a lot of answers of where I was trying to go. And a lot of times that's what blocks us as being entrepreneurs um, in whatever field that you're in. A lot of times we can't see the forest because we're standing there looking at one tree. And that's one thing that I had to get out of was just looking at that one tree because that one tree was blocking a beautiful picture if I just had a step back and looked at the whole thing. And that's what came true today. Uh, and actually, it has been happening, but not as consistent as it has been happening uh, over the past a uh, few days. So everything that's coming about is coming about now because it was already foretold to me over a year ago. And that's the one thing that I want to tell you guys about today. So, and I know I cover a lot of the tutorial videos uh, about leather crafting, tooling, and all of this kind of different stuff here and different things that I've gone through and different things that I've found out, different things that I've uh, played and experimented with and tried out with. And you guys have been following me long enough to know that, hey, I'm all about saving you some money. Two, I'm all about maximizing your profits. And three, I'm all about improving your craftsmanship to where you can have that professional look. And then you can't command those high dollar prices like a lot of the crafters out here in this industry are doing already. So with, with that being said, uh, one thing is do not allow anyone else to tell you how much money you can make in this industry or in this business. 
Don't let nobody put a salary cap on your pockets. So, and that reminds me of a saying, if you want to drive, if you want to drive a Lamborghini, don't take advice from someone who drives a Toyota. Y'all get what I'm saying? So now if you want to be successful, now I can't tell you how to be a millionaire because that would be me, one, lying. I'm not a millionaire. Am I comfortable? Yes, I am comfortable. Do I have clients? Do I have customers? Yes, I have that. Am I making a nice living, providing for my family? Yes, I can't do that. So with that being said, it's not boasting or bragging. I can tell you what I know. So if I'm telling you I'm here, I can get you here if you are just, or if you are here. I can get you up to here. Hopefully you will far supersede that because I don't know everything. Uh, I'm just a student uh, still yet in this crap. And a lot of times I, I've been recently caught myself saying that I am a, um, I'm in a leather practice because things in this business, in this industry changes daily, weekly. Somebody's always coming up with some new type of thing, you know, and I've even started finding myself even studying and reading and reviewing and watching and learning from uh, other leather crafters across the water. Japan right now is doing some awesome work, even in countries like Turkey and Saudi Arabia. Those crafters are doing some awesome work. Italy, Spain, awesome work. So don't just limit yourself in a box to just one particular style or one particular craft. Broaden your horizons because when you do that, now you are multi-skilled and multiverse in all types of crafts. Even over in Germany, uh, I can't remember exactly where Sergei is from, but that brother is doing some awesome work with three-dimensional leather work. And that is something serious right there. And there's another lady that's over in Europe who is doing leather sculpting. Oh my God, if you guys are on Pinterest, Look up some of those people. Look up, look up, and just look at their work, man. I mean, it, uh, Sergey did this. Um, uh, I can't. I want to say 16 Chapel, but I'm not sure. But it, it had to do with the little three angels, you know, and all that. And he did a three dimensional uh, 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 portfolio book of the of that artwork. Um, Man, and it's great. So don't let anybody tell you that there's a ceiling in this business. Those people are only handicapping themselves. So the sky's the limit. And that's what my coach told me when he first saw my work. He told me the same thing. Don't listen to other people because that's as far as they got. He said, I see you can make more than that. But anyway, uh, again, just a short video just to say, hey, look. You guys keep grinding. Uh, I know I mentioned in another video that I was going to go into how to do ad campaigns. So if you guys are interested in learning how to do an ad campaign for your business through social media, um, send me some comments or you can send me emails. Uh, the email address is premierleathercrafters at yahoo.com. You can send that to me or drop me a message down in there and I'll get back to you and I can give you some one-on-one -on -one of how I set up my uh, ad campaigns to how you can drive traffic to your business pages on social media. You don't have to go out here and get a website. You don't have to spend any money on websites. Social media is free. Facebook is free. Instagram is free. LinkedIn is free. All of these social media sites are free. And you can build your business pages through those channels as drive customers and potential clients to those pages that will start generating making money for you. So if you guys are interested and want to know that information, inbox me or email me. Uh, some of you have, I don't know how the brother from New York got my phone number. Maybe I'll drop that in a, a, a one of the videos. I don't know. But hey, look, it's 256-438-9344. That's the number to the shop. You guys can call me. I'm always grinding. I'm always working. I'm Right now, I'm in my Christmas season, so I'm running on about six hours of sleep. But hit me up, and I'll give you exactly what I know to get you up to where I am. You know, and if you guys push past that, 
great. You should push past it because I've already gone through the landmines and I know where the bombs are. So you guys don't even have to step on the bombs and the falls and all that stuff and have to double back and climb higher. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to get you where you want to be at. And well, as stay tuned, book number two is coming out next year. Grinding 101. Actually, it's not coming out next year. It kind of should be uh, coming out this year. Grinding 101, the next chapter. All right, this is Robert the Leather Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty South. Hey, wishing you guys all the best with your business and keep grinding with your craft. You can only get better. Peace. See you on the other side.